Hey you, welcome back to my vlog. My name is Megan Sarah. I'm a New York City tour guide and oh, there I am. Thanks for joining me for another week in my New York City work life. This week we have tours, we have errands, we have candles to sniff. Hey, if you're into that sort of thing, why not subscribe to my channel or give this video a like? All right, let's go. Saturday, Ooh, it's a little bit drizzly as you can tell and uh, fun thing about uh, Saturday today is that every terrain in Manhattan is just a little bit broken. We're having a day, we are going through it. Uh, clearly I'm not the only one. Happy to be out, happy to give you a tour. Even if it is a little bit drizzly, happy to be given a tour. And then my husband's gonna meet up with me and we're gonna hang out because uh, we're going to a little soiree so later on. A little bit of a, a little bit of a birthday party. Um, I might film us trying to find a place to stay indoors and, and warm on a Saturday that isn't uh, crowded. Good luck. This pink umbrella is a perfect filter. It's actually making it so that my nose pimple doesn't look that bad. See? Uh, no filter? Umbrella filter. This is the key. This is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I'm just going to carry around a pink umbrella. Well, why not? <laughs> All right. I'm going to sign off now and I might see you after I'm done when I'm hanging out with my husband, hopefully in a dry, Restaurant or cafe capacity. Name anyone who is more wet than me. I'll wait. JK, we had a good time. We, uh, it was very, very wet and colder than they expected. Such a sweet group. Um, really, really fun. Um, had a good time. I wish it wasn't raining. Uh, gosh, I wish it wasn't raining. I am headed to a cafe where my husband is going to meet me but like I think I mentioned the subways are a hot mess today so um, who knows how long that'll take I think I'm just going to post up in a cafe with a hot beverage and maybe a gluten-free baked good On Sunday, we took a walk in a park to celebrate fake spring. What is fake spring? In New York City, the first weekend day that's over 60 degrees is officially fake spring. It's that first day that makes you feel like, hey, spring is on the way before the Monday becomes freezing cold. Fake spring has been known to give people all sorts of ideas like iced coffee and light jackets it is going to let you down but it's worth it while it lasts
Aldi. Grocery shopping hungry. Wish me luck that I only come home with what I actually need and not just everything that I want because I'm hungry and a pushover. Never notice how when you're hungry, you're walking down the street, you can like acutely smell every restaurant in the vicinity. There are people eating french fries to my left. Um, yeah, when you're hungry, you can just smell every restaurant. You're like, I'm gonna float along by my nose on a scent trail. Oh, I'm so hungry. Why, would, why don't I stop and eat? Um, because this is the Upper West Side and uh, I can't afford this neighborhood. I can't afford to live in this neighborhood. I certainly can't afford to eat in this neighborhood. So I'm just gonna go to the grocery store hungry and then run home and eat something. the trumpets because we are in Midtown and I am running errands. First off, ignore the absolute tantrum that is happening on my nose. We don't need to talk about it. We can talk about the haircut I gave myself. It's just a trim, just a trim. But even just a trim to get rid of like split ends is helpful. I only really needed to get groceries at Trader Joe's, but I got off the subway a stop ahead just so that I could take a little bit of a walk because my mood is today. Can I say on the internet? I don't know. After therapy yesterday, my therapist suggested like first, first time she suggested take a walk. So I'm taking a walk. She also encouraged me to stand outside on the street and scream. I might not do that, but my nose pimple sure is. So I'm doing a little bit of a walk and on my way to Trader Joe's, oh, first off, the most aesthetic Trader Joe's, I decided that I deserve to go to the most aesthetic Trader Joe's. You know, the one with the lowest lighting and the least crowds? Um, to, to prevent further aggravation. And on my way there, I'm gonna stop at Michael's and I'm gonna squeeze soft yarn and jangle beads. Uh, yeah. So you'll come along with me, yeah, and we'll have a good time. Shadow is amazing. Today is very exciting because I am going to renew my tour guide license. Every two years on March 31st, all tour guide licenses in the city expire on the same day. So, very exciting. I get to go in person and get my new license. I'm very excited about renewing my tour guide license, but like. Gorgeous art. Did you just see all that great art? Uh, I 
everything out of sight. We got Joie de Vivre by Marc de Subaru. We've got Noguchi's Red Cube. We have Tunnel Track. Ah, oh, I love downtown art. After my appointment, I am hoping to sneak a little peek at some downtown art that should still be on display. Uh, I haven't had the chance to check this out and it's been up for months, so I'm very excited. License renewal shouldn't be too hard. I was told that they could handle it for me, but what I am worried about <laughs> is I've been using an old picture on my license for several years and it would just be such bizarre karma if on the day that I have like the worst pimple I've had in the last three years is also the day they make me retake my photo for a very important license that I'm very proud to have and show off. Uh, I mean, if they do make me take the picture, I am wearing a New York City sweatshirt. So I will be hashtag on brand. In my first license picture, I'm wearing an I Heart New York t-shirt, which I thought was very cute and appropriate. Um, but I just really hope I can continue to use that. I mean, my hair's already fallen land. This crazy pimple. I'm doing the best I can with the eyeshadow and the sweatshirt. But I really hope I don't need to retake a photo. <laughs> that was super easy. They were super great. I got my license renewed. And if I may just be like a little bit corny, being back in that office actually made me very nostalgic because passing the tour guide test, not just passing, but like excelling at it, it's one of the proudest moments in my life. I worried a lot about it. I overthought it. I studied so hard. And in the end, I did not just pass. Past his flying colors uh, and walking past the testing room off to the side. I just thought like, oh, what a reminder of the things you truly can achieve um, even if you doubt yourself. As I love to say, never doubt yourself because there are bacteria in your lower intestine who depend on you. <laughs> okay, okay, check this out, check this out. Trinity Church at 281 feet tall was once the tallest building in the city of New York. The Woolworth Building was the tallest building in the city of New York from 1913 to 1930. If you squint real hard, the Chrysler Building, it, there. Tallest building in New York from 1930 to 1931 and the current reigning champion, one World Trade at 1,776 feet, AKA 1776. Tallest building in New York so far. Dun, dun, dun. Don't I feel silly? Ah. I actually came down here the day after this closes on March 6th. Today is March 7th. I am a day late and as always, a dollar short. What a freaking bummer. That'll teach me to take stuff for granted, I guess. But listen, it's a little colder than I expected and I have a lot of stuff I need to get done at home. So as much as I want to take advantage of this, downtown day and the post tour guide license renewal hi i'm gonna head home i did just say i was gonna go home but then i remembered i'm like a block away from my favorite tj maxx in the city and the candle aisle at tj maxx is one of my favorite places so i might as well just smell some candles and if one happens to smell very good then like Who's to say it shouldn't come home with me?
well, well. Friday already? Just kidding. This has been the longest week. Oh, they're filming something Christmassy in the park right now. They put up some wreaths and stuff. Wild. Anyway, yes, this week has been the longest week. We started off with a tour and we're finishing with a tour. But hi, my nose is looking better. It almost looks like a normal human nose. Uh, <laughs> hashtag Pimplegate2024. You know, it has been a long week. We started off with a rainy Saturday tour. We did that beautiful wintry woodland walk and ran a bunch of errands. We had that delightful experience at Michael's. I got my hair trimmed. Look at that. Those ends look almost healthy. And now here we are giving another tour to finish it off. My goodness. I don't know how this happened, but my phone battery is at like 20%. I have been using my phone nonstop since like 5 a.m. So that's on me. So I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet, but Thanks for joining me this week. It has been a, what a whirlwind, a really fun week. And next week is gonna be even busier. We've already got, I think, four tours booked for next week. I know, whoop, whoop. And I'm gonna do this little tour and see you later. Bye.